Hey everyone, this is Kaching, and I like to talk about why you would want to activate a component and work within a component.、Um, when you have a design that you know is a assembly and that it's going to contain multiple components, one of the best things to do from the very beginning is to create a series of empty components. So, at the very top of this top node, this is essentially your assembly. You you are now looking at your entire assembly, and as a new document, there's nothing in it. So,、uh, right clicking on it and clicking on new component will allow you to create empty components, essentially containers for either more components or bodies, which is are just 3D geometry. Um, so I'm going to actually create three new components, and these are all empty components. There's nothing in them. And if you hover over one, say this one, component one, one to one, and、uh, to the right, you'll see the circle, and it is the activate component feature. And when you click it, what this does is that now you are looking at the this specific component, and the features you now use will all get organized within this specific component. So, for instance, if I go into Sketch and、uh, use the rectangle tool、uh, and just make a rectangle, and then、uh, do a press pull and extrude this rectangle up. And then let's put a fillet on this edge, and say OK.、Uh, you see that in my timeline, it captured my sketch, my extrude, and my fillet. Now, if I go back to the top node, which is my entire assembly, and I activate the entire assembly, you see that、um, the timeline now shows all my commands or all my actions that I've taken. From the inception of this design to、uh, to the latest feature, which is the fillet, so the creation of my three components and my three features that I did on component one. If I activate component two, you'll see that there's nothing in here and there's no features because I haven't done anything in there. So that's really the reason why you would want to activate components is that you can work within them and start to organize your features according to that component. Another good thing to know is if you turn on component color cycling, this will also organize、uh, and color code your components and your features. According to where they belong. So now that I have the whole assembly activated, the three new components are green and they belong to the whole assembly. The sketch, the extrude, and the fillet are orange and they belong to component one. So hopefully that will give you a better idea of of、um, how to get started when you're designing an assembly within Fusion 360. Thank you.